Good morning, Becky Edwards here at Purpose Driven Motherhood. I just gave a training on a concept that I think that I would love to share with you. It's a really interesting concept called the four types of guilt. We have four types of guilt. I wrote a little, a little graph here and I think Facebook Live is gonna make it backwards, but that's okay. You can kind of still see what I'm talking about. We have four kinds of guilt. Two of them we see in the Book of Mormon, the kind of guilt that is godly sorrow that makes you want to repent. The next one is worldly sorrow that you're just you're just upset that you got um, caught. So those two we're kind of familiar with, right? We're familiar with, oh, I feel guilty. I need to repent. I need to fix something. I need to clean something up or I need to forgive someone. And then over here, oh man, I got caught. Darn. <laughs> but there are also two other kinds of sorrow or guilt to be aware of. This one, oh my goodness, this wallowing kind of guilt, Satan loves to stir the pot of that one. Oh my goodness, he loves to stir that up. That is, I call that shame. The guilt that, that invites shame and negative labels and just helps you see, that, that invites you to see yourself as, an, as a bad person. That, may, that, that instead of just saying, oh, I did something wrong, I should clean that up and taking care of it, you say, Oh, I'm a terrible person. Why, I'm not even worth loving. Why would anyone want to spend time with me? Oh, I've gone too far. Heavenly Father will never forgive me. Like we just wallow in that guilt and guilt and guilt. And we just let it go on and on and on and on. Satan loves to stir that one up. The last one here is the anti-responsibility. So we feel guilt and then instead of cleaning it up, we move into an anti-responsibility mode. And um, that was brought up really well in a, in a talk from Education Week just this year. So just a couple months ago in August by Elder Lynn G. Robbins. He gave the devotional at Education Week. And he talked about, his talk is called Be 100% Responsible. And he talks about this anti-responsibility list. And he, he talks about how Laman and Lemuel pretty much met the entire list, pretty much. Nephi, no, he refuses to go into that list. Nephi, if he sees something wrong, he immediately takes care of it and gets back on track. But with Laman and Lemuel, they love living over here. They love just, just put, putting off the guilt. Instead of, instead of repenting to feel better, they blame other people. Let me read you some of the things in this list and see if you can relate. Maybe you felt them before yourself or you might see them around you. So here we go. Here are some of the things on the anti-responsibility list. Blaming others. Um, re rationalizing or justifying, making excuses, minimizing or trivializing sin, hiding, covering up, fleeing from responsibility, abandoning responsibility. And then by the way, Brother Robbins, Elder Robbins, he gives scripture examples for each of these. So you can go, oh, I see that. Oh, I see that. We're, we actually plan on having a family home evening soon where we list these and then we give uh, the scripture example. And then I ask for a modern day example so the kids can see how these apply in their lives. Um, let's see, abandoning, denying or lying, rebelling, complaining and murmuring, finding fault or getting angry, making demands or entitlements, doubting, losing hope, giving up and quitting, indulging in self-pity and victim mentality, being an indecisive or in a spiritual stupor, uh, procrastinating, allowing fear to rule or enabling. In other words, helping someone else to not take responsibility for their stuff. So those are the four kinds of guilt. Why does it matter that we have awareness that there are four kinds of guilt? I'll tell you why. Because this one, this one, and this one, they all keep you stuck. You cannot move forward if you are in these kinds, if you feel these kinds of guilt. You can't move forward if all you're upset about is, oh man, I got caught. Because there's no motive there to say, I need to clean some stuff up. I need to move forward. If you're wallowing in guilt, oh my goodness. Satan just loves to make you feel like you are a loser, you are unlovable, you are unworthy, you're worthless, God could never forgive you, you're a lost cause. That is from Satan. That is never a message from God. And over here, if you won't even take responsibility for your own actions, you will never repent and clean your stuff up and move forward. So this is the only kind of guilt that is positive, helps us get unstuck, helps us move forward, helps us live a purposeful, productive, happy, joyful life. Is if we say, oh, I got off track just a little bit. I need to jump back on track. 
clean this up, move forward, whether we need to forgive or repent or apologize, whatever we need to do and take care of it quickly. In fact, I love to say to be a ninja fast repenter and forgiver. Ninja fast, quick, just super fast. Take care of it right now. Um, one one analogy I love that Elder uh, President Uchtdorf talks about is when he's flying an airplane. That, and any pilot would know this, that you've got this, you've got this one line from here to your destination, but most of the time the plane is just a little bit off and then it gets back on a little bit off and gets back on a little bit off. And, and it's always readjusting, readjusting, readjusting. That's what this is for. We are not expected. Heavenly Father knows we cannot be perfectly on the line our whole entire lives. We are mortal. We are fallen and we live in a fallen world. But we can do, we can get really fast getting back on the line and really fast at getting back on the line and adjusting and adjusting and adjusting. And that's so hopeful. All of these, uh uh, they are not helpful. They're from Satan and they are not, they will keep us stuck. This one is from God and it will un, it help us get unstuck, move forward, make progress, and be happy and peaceful again and have the Spirit with us fully. Because when we have the Spirit, we have the gifts of the Spirit. We have joy, we have peace, we have love, we have growth. All those beautiful things that come back to us when we clean ourselves up. It's awesome. So I hope that was helpful to learn about the four kinds of guilt. And I hope that you can, that you can use that in your life and maybe teach it to your family because it is a helpful concept to help us know the healthy way to treat guilt so we can move forward. Have a great day.